What is an immersive experience or cultural engagement? Are they really the only ways to achieve what we call cultural awareness? I mean, what even is cultural awareness? After studying abroad in Spain, um, to be honest, I still have no clue to these questions. Uh, but what I do know is that we often refer to someone who maybe lacks cultural awareness as a cultural fool. And we seem to think that the only way to prevent this is through immersive experiences and cultural engagement. Um, of course, I'm not here today to argue that we should all aim to be cultural fools when traveling, but what I did learn while studying abroad is that becoming a full-on member of another culture is definitely not the only way to learn about that culture. And what I learned in Spain is that that task itself really is just impossible. You know, I can eat plenty of Spanish food or go watch a bullfight or dance the flamenco until my feet hurt, but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna be a Spanish person in Spain. And what I learned is that you don't have to be in order to learn about another culture and have a great experience. Um, basically, you don't need to have such an immersive experience that you feel a pressure to hide what makes you American or Japanese or whatever you are. Basically, all I'm saying is that you shouldn't feel pressure to hide what makes you unique out of fear of being labeled a cultural fool. So, yeah, um, I'm pretty much just thinking out loud at this point, but what I learned while in Spain and other places in Europe um, was that a lot of people were more interested in talking to me once they found out that I was not from that country or that I was American. So, in some ways, sticking out like a sore thumb did more to help me get cultural engagement than trying to blend in or be a local ever did. So, yeah, that's my rant for 2017. Basically, or 2018, rather. Um, basically, I just realized that there's no point to cultural engagement if you don't share what makes your culture unique.